time for GU TV. <laughs> Hey Katie, what class is this? GMTV. Hey guys, what class is this? GMTV. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> And actually, <laughs> and we're your host for, for this, this week. week's GMTV. <laughs> Hurry up, Ashley! Oh, <gasps> I knocked the wind out of myself. Oh, Marissa, don't scare me like that. It hurt. Sorry, did I really push you that hard? Nah, you were tripping. Now to the announcements with KJ and Katie. Hey, KJ. Oh, hey, Katie. Are you signed up for 21st Century Scholars? Not yet. Where can I get some more information? You can go talk to your counselor, but you only have until June 30th to apply. Okay. Hey, Katie, are you going to Descent for Spirit Fridays? I think I will. Do you know what every Friday is? Well, today is just impressed, but next week we'll do Sports Day. On March 15th, we'll do Hat Day. March 22nd will be Pajama Day, and March 29th will be Twin Day. Okay, cool. Fifth graders came back to the middle school to learn more on Wednesday and Friday. Here's some footage from that. Hi, GMS. I'm here with Serena. What school do you go to? Um, I came from Chandler. What are you most excited for for middle school in sixth grade? Um, mostly the electives, because in Chandler and in elementary, we don't usually do that stuff. And it's more of like elementary stuff, and so I'm kind of excited to see the difference. Mm -hmm. What do you think or expect will happen in your first year at the middle school? Um, I probably will get confused. I get lost easily places, but I am excited for stuff. But yeah, mostly that. Are you joining IB or New Tech? IB. What are you excited for IB? Um, well, my sister went through it, and I kind of saw how that worked, and it looked fun, so I decided to try it. Okay. I'm with Giovanni Cortez. What school did you come from? I come from Chandler Elementary. What are you most excited for six, for sixth grade in middle school? I'm excited for track. What are you most like worried about, or what do you think will happen that you don't want to happen? Mm, nothing. Mm. I remember fifth grade. Nope, nope, bad memories, not today. Did you see the theater students perform? Oh no, I heard they did great though. Oh yeah, congratulations to the 8th grade string quartet for their outstanding performances at the state solo and ensemble event in Indianapolis last Saturday. They received a gold rating with distinction. The state level is typically dominated by high school entries. I wish I could do that. Don't we all? Hey KJ, are you going to audition for the Music Man this summer for Elkhart Civic Center? No. Well, I did hear that Mr. Wade is helping students next Tuesday from 4 to 5 to start dance training for that show. He will work on a variety of styles of that dance, of, of dances that Mr. Wade knows they will want to see. Did you see Annie is this year's GHS musical? No, when is it? The show begins tonight and runs this weekend and next. Times are 7.30 on Friday and Saturday and then 2.30 on Sunday. Tickets are $8. 
The GMS Jazz Strings earned a gold with distinction rating at their ISMA performance last Friday. This is the first time that the group earned the distinction. Congratulations! The, G the GMS Jazz Choir won their gold rating in their first ever outing at the Jazz Festival in the port. Chelsea was picked to be in the State Youth Choir in January. We asked her what it was like. What's up GMS? I'm Aaliyah and I'm here with Chelsea. Ms. Mason. And I'm going to be asking them a few questions. Why is this a big deal that Chelsea earned this honor? Chelsea um, auditioned for the All-State Honor Choir and uh, she was chosen. Um, it's a big deal because students from schools all over the state of Indiana auditioned for this. We had eight people that auditioned from our school and that's the limit. Schools can only have eight. And um, Chelsea was successful in her audition. She was chosen for the choir. Only 150 students from across the entire state of Indiana are chosen for this. Okay, and Chelsea, what was the best part and why? The best part, well, was that I got to take two days off of school and go to Fort Wayne. And I met new people that have the same interests as me in music. And uh, yeah, it was spending the night in Fort Wayne in a hotel with um, two new people. OK, and what was it like when you performed? Um, it was scary at first because the Embassy Theater is so, it's really big and it was like really full and when we were up there I just focused on the director and it was really fun to perform uh, what we'd been practicing for two days. Um, a lot of practice, yeah. Okay, thank you. Hey, are you going to the Colorado trip? No, how about you? No, the trip is July 3rd through 17th, 2019. The cost to go is $500. Oh, and you have to go to the meetings at Goshen High School Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., April 27th, May 18th, and June 1st. Applications are due March 14th, and the parent meeting is 7 p.m. At, Go at Goshen Middle School on March 11th. Oh, did you hear about Grant Miller? Oh yeah, he won the second place in the level one vocabulary competition at the annual German student conference this year. Grant placed second out of 14 students from throughout the state of Indiana. Must be cool to be him. Did you hear that Eric Schramm qualified for the state competition of the National Geography Bee? Oh, no, I don't. Well, the competition is held in Indianapolis on March 29th, and he'll be competing for a $1,000 cash prize, as well as the opportunity to advance to the National Bee at the end of May. Good, Good luck. luck. Jump Rope for Heart is coming soon. The GMS gym classes will be participating in this competition. You'll be able to compete for prizes as well. Be on the watch for more information. Students on Team 71 brought smiles to children and the other side of the planet with their recent project. New Tech students started the project by reading Refugee by Alan Gr Gratt. They were asked throughout the book about their responsibility to help refugees. Students created proposals to help refugees. The team ended up picking Ella Potter's proposal. The team advertised and held a fundraiser to provide food and beach balls to refugees in Bangladesh. The supplies just recently made it to their destination, and the seventh graders received pictures showing them the impact they made. The team wants to give a big thank you to George and Natalie Potter for their help. I'm here with... Ms. Mason. How do you feel about the song that the kids are playing? I'm really proud of them. It is, it's, it's one thing to learn piano as a beginner and then to learn to play a duet with one other person, but the fact that nine of them can sit down and keep the song together and um, play, play it through clear to the end, I'm just really proud of their progress. How proud of you, all of them individually? Individually? Um, uh, very proud. There, there are some that just take to this kind of discipline of learning, chipping away at it a little bit at a time every day. There are some that just do that kind of format very well. There are others that can get frustrated because they are a beginner, and and um, but we're getting all of them to work through it. And and I think um, a small class size, it's it's easier to help the individuals navigate through through learning a new physical skill. 
Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Hi, I'm here with Miguel. How do you feel about being in this class? I feel honored because not many students um, get to be in this class, and so I'm one of them. I'm a sports with Alexis and Andrea. Hey GMS, it's Alexis and Andrea, and we are this week's sports. Last weekend, the varsity wrestling team competed in Big 11 and finished sixth overall. Here are the wrestlers who placed top three of their weight class. Jaylee and Gabriel placed third with a weight class under 130. Marcus Castaneda placed third with weight class under 140. Alex Parga placed second with a weight class under 135. Cole Hinkle placed second with a weight class under 75. Lincoln Radcliffe placed first with a weight class of 110. This week, the seventh grade varsity girls basketball played against Pierre Moran. Goshen with 57 points and Pierre Moran with eight. Kyra Hill made in 21 points. Grace Kircher made 15 points. And Jolie Hotsteller made 10 points. The eighth grade varsity girls basketball played against Pierre Moran. Goshen scored 34 and Pierre Moran scored 4. Sarah Harmelie scored 9 points. Macy Hirschberger scored 8 points. Tyra Markham scored 6 points. McKenna Hirschberger scored 4 points. Karina Olfig scored 3 points. Brianna Klein and Brianna Valderrama both scored 2 points. Good job, girls. I'm here with Annika, Rayhan, Miss Shepard. Annika, do you know what month it is? March. 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 That's right. But it's also Women's Month, dedicated to celebrating girls. Swaggy. <laughs> Do you know who Marie Curie is? Who's that? Marie Curie actually founded the science of radioactivity and invented the word radioactivity, which radioactivity is used for things like curing cancer and just like medicine and stuff. So if without her, we wouldn't have many cures for cancer. Also, she was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, the first woman to be a professor at the University of Paris, and the first person to ever have two Nobel Prizes. That's pretty cool if I do say that myself. You go, girl. You are. <laughs> do you know who Dorothy Vaughn is? No. Dorothy was a mathematician and computer programmer who was the first African-American woman to be the manager at NASA. She not only had to face struggles of being a woman at work, she also had to struggle with the things of being a person of color. She actually is now one of the featured roles in a movie called Hidden Figures, which is a really good movie, so you should go watch that. <laughs> Do you know who Ruth Bader Ginsburg is? <laughs> RBG! Oh my gosh, she's amazing, I love her. She is everything that this world needs, guys. She is going to fix everything. She's on the Supreme Court. <sighs> Guys, one time she broke her, she broke a rib. She's like almost, she had, has had cancer, still shows up to work the next day. Guys, she's amazing. She's changing lives. Sex discrimination is not a thing anymore because of her, well, it is a thing, but she's working very hard to stop it. <laughs> and she's amazing. RBG for life. Thank you. <laughs> Ruth was also a wife and a mother who attended Harvard University while her husband was sick with cancer, so she attended his classes and took notes for him while she was also taking her classes. All you boss babes out there at GMS, this month I encourage you to be powerful and stand up for what you believe in, just like all of these amazing women behind us, including this one. <laughs> you are amazing, and you go, girl! <laughs> you 
are strong. You are invincible. You are woman. That's it for this week's GMTV. Bye, guys. That hurt.